All right, it's time. I have so many little thrifted treasures here of sewing patterns, fabric, sewing machines, mirrors, buttons, trims, all sorts of fun, uh, thrifted vintage sewing related things. So I'm just going to show you through all of my stash of what I've collected because secondhand is absolutely best. We all know this. My sewing friends, welcome back. Yes, it's another thrift haul time. We know, I know you love treasure hunting just as much as I do. It is so much fun and I love finding all the second hand items for our sewing stash and fashion. It's just a very sustainable way to do fashion and of course very good on the budget and you get the most unique pieces and wow do I have some amazing ones for you. Some big pieces of furniture over here. I'll show you that in one moment because we have all the stuff that's sort of normal. There's two very unusual ones and we'll just get straight to it. What did I find in the last several months? Isn't she beautiful? Okay, I picked this up off um, secondhand from Facebook Marketplace. It's amazing. It is actually the same machine, not the machine, but the same machine as what I very first took my very first stitches on when I was 13 years old in high school. And I'm so excited. I'm not going to show you through this because that is an entirely new video for next week where I'm going to walk you through this whole machine in like having a look at it, setting it up and what it's all about. So check back for that one. I think next week. Okay. And I told you about this big furniture item and uh, let me just show you. As soon as I saw this mirror, I nearly died. I have never seen one this shape before. And well, I could not say no. You wouldn't say no either, right? I told you it was amazing, right? So amazing. It's a little bit large for this space, but it is my dream mirror and will be perfect for my dream studio. And now I can actually see my whole length together in one. I know, I can't say no. You would never, no. You definitely would not have passed that up either. Okay, where to start? Let's have a look at some of these little things that I've got. Uh, so I found lots of different buttons and like buckles and all sorts of things. I mean, these little ones here, these are fantastic. These look for a coat, just beautiful. Some gorgeous buckles. This one's brass, I believe as well. Colored buckles, all different like wood buttons. We've got some red, you know, I can't just resist red. <laughs> Some little round ones and I love, you know, I'm collecting these, a little natural shell. I'm looking for definitely things in all natural. These are actually earrings. I think they're big enough. Yeah. Thimble, although this absolutely does not fit me with my fingers. It's still nice to have for a little decoration somewhere, I think. And these buttons here are actually all, uh, le well, some are fake, <laughs> but they're all original vintage leather buttons, which is really amazing. So. These will keep all for my stash. Uh, buttons are so good to have on hand for whenever, you know, you just need the right button sometimes and they're just beautiful and you just need a stash of buttons. We all know this. I also found a uh, metal zip, some red bias tape, which I love. Found some really large, more like hem bias tape, which was really good. And then look at this, oh, an entire card of black rickrack, a really um, sort of wide, thick one. Um, feels like cotton, lovely and soft. Uh, it's always good to have huge amounts. I love finding these. Speaking of rickrack, beautiful Trish actually found these two vintage ones and sent them to me, which is so nice. Thank you so much. Look at this navy and red one. It is perfectly my colors. Um, and this here is like, this is so interesting. You never find these new like this. These you only find in vintage ones. So these are absolutely great for my stash. I was very excited to actually find a, another cuff. Now you all know I have my cuff um, pin cushion and I use this all the time. It's basically like jewelry, jewelry for me. And I even have a tutorial. If you haven't made one yourself, yes, you can, because I need to make another one. This one is getting, um, it needs, it needs revamp. And I'd like an, maybe a different color to match my outfits. And of course, when you start looking for this, exactly the cuff that I need, you never find one. So I was really happy to actually find one that fits. I did find uh, this little necklace. You know, I like this sort of color contrasting. I thought this would be really nice. Um, it's just lovely, natural beads, bit of metal. Very nice. Okay, this was really exciting. This 
Well, I don't know what its intended use is, but I have some little ones of these. I do not have a big one like this. This is so that you can put, well, okay, I don't have any right here, but to put a hat pins in. And so they just sit in like the little holes through here. And so you can sit them in and sit all of your hat pins and then just pull them out, put them in. I know, it's amazing. I've only ever seen a couple, so I was really excited to find this one and being so big and beautiful, beautiful condition this one. This will be going on top of my jewelry stand right now. Okay, when I finish this. Gosh, I've got a lot of patterns. I'll get to those in a minute. Let's finish off a few of these. Uh, these little uh, braces, suspenders, um, I loved these because look at the elastic. This is fantastic. Like these colors are just great. So I'll either use them as is, take out the metal parts, take out the plastic parts, put metal, metal or stitch them together in some other way. Might be great for some outfits I have in mind. So um, they were fantastic. When everything's in your colors, you absolutely go for it. All right, let's have a look at some fabric. Uh, found this lovely, I think linen cotton, just a little remnant, but um, really nice, like next to nothing. I like having bits of pieces because you never know when you want just some produce bags or something like this that is just like nice natural looking one. This is not natural looking, but wow. Yeah, <laughs> it's like all of my colors all in one. It is so loud, it's beautiful. So again, I think um, probably just cotton this one. Um, just really, really lovely. I love the like natural texture. I love it's um, yarn dyed, so both sides. It's just, I think this one is vintage. Um, love this, not a lot of it, but you know, there is however, a lot of this one. Uh, this is a wonderful, it's actually, um, what is it? Like a tablecloth but it is 100% cotton and uh, is just really nice and sort of thick, but soft, it's so nice. And it has this really nice kind of decorative little edge around it that I think I'll use for maybe the edge of a skirt or something like that. It's enormous, right? There's so much fabric here, so much fabric. I couldn't buy this gorgeous quality fabric for this amount in my favorite color red, so. Don't just look in the fabric section for fabric. There are so many surprises waiting for you. And I did actually thrift uh, this. It was a little like um, kind of dress, but I've already half turned it almost finished into a skirt. Again, 100% cotton. I really loved it. I've um, just about finished. I've put a little plaque it into the side and I'm going to put some snaps through here, little buttons and buttonholes and it's almost done. This is going to be my new little summer staple, I think that one. Now, if you have been watching for a while, you might have recall that I found some fabric just like this. I should say fabric because it was like curtains or bedspread from the 80s, a kid's room. And I mentioned that I saw the bedspread and I was gonna go back for it. So yeah, I went back for it. 100% cotton, giving me total like 1930s, like 80s, 70s, does 30s vibes. My colors, of course. So of course I went back for it because now I have so much fabric, it's got a few little holes, but between all the bits of fabric, I'll be able to make matching things. And that's when you get amazing, amazing outfits, right? When you have all the things matching. Ooh, okay, this one. This was quite unusual. So I found this vintage, um, what do you call it? Tails suit. Uh, incredible. So these are the pants, which is black and you can't see. Lovely wool, the construction. My goodness, look at this. I just love all of these, but you can see someone has very, okay, I'm just going to say it very badly, uh, altered the back to try and make it larger and has just, um, you know, just basically inserted fabric at the back. Um, so that's fine because these are nowhere near going to fit me. That wasn't really why I bought this set. It was like, I think $5 for the set. This is why I bought this set because it just, just fits me. <laughs> Full on proper uh, vintage um, set of tails that, that fits is just um, very rare to come by. As I said, I think this, this suit cost $5. So I really bought it for the jacket. Um, you know, you never know when you might need a costume or I might just wear it sometime. I need to clean it all up and uh, everything, but uh, I was thrilled. I've never found anything like that. Um, here I am. So it was quite, um, quite exciting to find that on the rack. Now patterns. 
I got a first little lot here um, from Maureen actually sent me some of these, which was so nice. Thank you so much. Like this little pinafore, I love. So they're pretty much all just like gorgeous ones for my um, style and body suits ones. I mean, these are quite hard to find. So uh, thank you very much. I love these ones. And then I also, <laughs> all of these actually were given to me for free. I went to a garage sale uh, recently and um, she you know, used to sew, had this big stash, knows that pretty much no one is really interested in sewing patterns anymore. So she said, uh, you can have them for free, but you just have to take the whole lot, not pick through them. And I was like, okay, fair enough. So I did. So I probably have not kept about twice as much as this, that they're just not ones that I'm going to keep on going to. I'm not sure what I'll do with them yet, either redonate them or, I don't know, um, save them for something, maybe a little patent care package one day might be coming. We'll see, we'll see, that's, anyways. These are the ones that I've decided to keep. Now, I won't show you them all, but I'll show you some interesting ones that I found, because a lot of these are from 60s, 70s, and are so, so great. So these are some of my favorite ones. I love this, um, beautiful, little tiered skirt. This one, look at this. Hello, like 70s sharp suit. This is just beautiful. Look at these little peplums and everything. Oh, I want to be this one. Oh. Uh, this is interesting. This pattern here, I actually have this pattern in my stash that's in storage somewhere from when I was like 17. I made this. I know, yes. The bodice part, I did it, I think I was still in school. I remember doing it for a school project. I had boning and everything. Amazing, I can't believe that this pattern, I think I was 17. Anyway, so that's a little bit of fun facts. There's a few here, worse for wear. Look at this little cutie. Uh, this jiffy dress is interesting. When I used to work in bridal, uh, there was one from a particular company uh, that was oh so popular. I mean, oh so popular as in every single bride got this dress for their bridesmaids because it had these long ties just like this and you could tie it in all these different ways and they loved it and you know, all of that. Um, it reminded me exactly of this little jiffy dress. So I wonder where that company got the idea for their little changeable dress from. Um, look at this. This is so, so cute. This is a little tennis dress and it's so short that you need little knicker bottoms underneath to actually make it work. It's hilarious. It's like, look how short this is. And then I found this one. I was like, this one's even shorter. <laughs> look how short these skirts are. Again, it's got the little skorts underneath because it's just like so short. And then I was so okay. If you wore little cutie patootie, little super short skirts this short when you were probably younger, I guess, during this time, leave us a comment below because I want to uh, cheer you along and congratulate you. I want to hear. Oh, so cute. Some others, this one here. I mean, this one, basically this is me in some other little hair scarf, you know, the four girl skirt, perfect. This is adorable. It's like baby doll thing with these flares. Oh, I love. And you've got these men's ones. Mm, if only my mister would wear these. I wonder if I could convince him. And a typical, you've got, you know, the beautiful sleeves for the 70s. And I did find, wait, I almost forgot. Two tragic ones. Well, tragic in different ways. Just show you this one. Look at this. I know, this is how this, this is how this poor pattern come. Look at this, it's all scrunched up in a little oh my goodness we've talked about this right how like oh, oh oh and then and then I found this one so <laughs> why do I have this and keeping it there's a good reason I've decided there are so many patterns right that you come across and you just look at and you're like <laughs> just make you laugh because they're just well so ugly, right? <laughs> and not ugly as in, they're just different styles. I appreciate, you've seen all of these, like these are so many different styles. I'm not going to wear them maybe, but I love them. But there are just some that are just, they were way too trendy for their time or something like that. And then you just like, even at the time, how could this be, I don't think this was like trendy or beautiful or, you know, it's like, wow, look at this whole thing. It's so unflattering on anyone who's wearing it. So I've decided I'm keeping a little file of my own for my own little pleasure of the like really, let's call it well, bad patterns of history. <laughs> just the ones that just make you laugh and are just funny for like, uh, I'm keeping them. So if you come across a really, 
really ugly historical ones, you know, dress pattern. But it's not that it's ugly because it's just some style you don't like. It's just like no one ever liked this, right? You know what I'm talking about. I would love you to send it to me because I want to keep a little pile. Might make a video one day. I'm going to leave my PO box uh, down below or directions um, to do that. So please, I would love, I would love to have these really ugly ones in my collection. It always surprises me. The things that you can get secondhand is just, there is no limits. Uh, mirrors, sewing machines, patterns, fabric, buttons, zips, everything that you need to sew with, you can pretty much get secondhand if you uh, keep your eyes out. It is just definitely the most sustainable and budget friendly way. You get so much unique things. So I hope it has inspired you on different things that you might be able to find as well. If you just, you know, some people, Every time I make these videos, people had no idea that they could find stuff like this um, for, for sewing. So this is why I like to make them. And you know, the show and the tell is just the most fun because I love seeing all the little treasures that people find too. They're out there for all of us. So, um, well, until next time my sewing friends, happy thrift hunting, I think yourself. <laughs> happy sewing, bye.